5 seconds to go start sir at the outset i ought to congratulate the honorable minister of finance for his strides to control the inflation to the single digit level as well as to meet the development needs of the country fully it is commendable on the part of the government that they have achieved a record target in the production of wheat and rice during the current year not only they have achieved the record target they have tried to see that the farmers get their due share for their products but at the same time i would like to point out to the house as well as to the honorable minister that there are some distortions in our production process and in spite of achieving the record target in food production this year there are some distortions in the production of rice we are aware that rice is produced mainly in eastern india in the states of odisha bihar west bengal assam etc but i find from the papers available in the library that the production of rice yield is actually not equitable in comparison with the other states of the country here i must point out that according to an international comparison amongst the less developed countries the best results are reported from korea china and indonesia and amongst the industrialized countries australia leads with japan following closely the experience with high yielding varieties had shown that when the ecology of the rice field is charged by the application of more water and fertilizer the threat to yield caused by the triple alliance of weeds pests and pathogens could become serious countering the risk effectively will be particularly important for the small farmers who cannot otherwise be expected to show an improvement making requisite investments in inputs which are vital to the success of high yielding further punjab and haryana with a little over 4% of the country's population produce 13% of the national food output only 19% of their population is below the poverty line madhya pradesh and uttar pradesh have the worst scores in this regard so the picture of plenty reflected in absolute figures of increase of food production has to be viewed in the context of intensity of deprivation that stokes the vast countryside because the per capita calorie supply is uneven due to the weaknesses in the distribution system so i would request the honorable minister to see that these distortions are removed at the earliest the economic advisory council has also made a reference to lower rates of growth of output of rice in these states the low yield levels are prevailing in eastern and central india and almost stationary levels of rice production in the three southern states of tamil nadu karnataka and kerala they have also equally mentioned the low growth rate of pulses and oil seeds while the rice production is almost stationary in the eastern region the consumption of fertilizers has decreased in some states coming to oil seeds in reply to a question the honorable minister stated that the per hectare yield of oil seed has been fluctuating from year to year because a major proportion of the oil seeds is being grown in the rain fed condition in arid and semi arid areas unless this fluctuation is stopped the growth tempo which we have built during the year may not be maintained coming to irrigation the honorable members have mentioned 
how the potential has been created it is not being utilized for the benefit of the farmer i would elaborate it and say that by the end of 1979-80 though an irrigation potential of 56 million hectares has been created the actual utilization in the country is very much less compared to the potential created in spite of the shortfall in the creation of irrigation potential its use in the country has also widened it is mentioned in the report of the irrigation ministry that about 6 million hectares of irrigation potential is not being used i would like to urge upon the government as well as the minister to look into it we have spent large money unless it is used fully for the benefit of the farmers and all of us we cannot achieve our target in food production similarly we have made provisions for the command area development project to reduce the gap between the potential what has been created and what is being used government has created command area development project in the report it has been pointed out that our efforts in this direction have not been made so as to achieve the result unless this is done earnestly no irrigation potential can be utilized fully and the people cannot have its benefit the government has time and again been told that the spill over irrigation projects must be completed during the 6th 5 year plan 4 years have already passed but no report has been made available to us how many projects have been completed by this time and how many spill over projects remain to be completed the new projects have also been taken up there are another 100 new projects during the plan it is good that they have taken up the projects but whatever we have taken up in the previous plan must be completed there is escalation of cost these should therefore be completed soon drinking water is not available in the coastal areas of odisha and other states mr chairman you also come from my state there has not been rainfall from december last water level has gone down most of the tube wells which were in operation now remain dry unless some emergency steps are taken to see that drinking water is made available to the people i am afraid the people will face many difficulties i have also drawn the attention of the honorable minister regarding many tube wells lying defunct after the onset of summer stop